Mr. President, you have been in uh, cycling for years. In this historic moment of the Tour de France, what is the most significant contribution of the Tour de France for cycling? Oh, I think, um, first of all, it is one of the greatest sporting events in the world and it's an annual sporting event. So it has a, you know, a, a wonderful and um, positive promotion of our sport. And it's watched by, you know, every year, you know, it's been growing, growing. The television audience is, is massive all over the world. So it's a wonderful um, promoter of the sport and it's the height of our season. Given your years in cycling, you must have some outstanding memories. Well, I have been on many, many Tour de France's all right since going back to the mid 80s. I think probably for me as an Irishman, the biggest memory would be the year Stephen Roach won in 1987. And I think part of the part of that would be I remember very well on the stage up to La Plagne when Delgado had attacked him and got a good lead on him and then Roach clawed him back and Roach collapsed on the finish line and um, had to be taken off the hospital um, with the exhaustion, the pure exhaustion that 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 the effort had taken out of him. And then the following day he went away to the, he went on to take the, the jersey back from Delgado and, and went on to win the race. And for me that shows the you know the, the values of the Tour de France that riders can ride themselves into, you know, such a such a, a, a state that they just collapse and then the following day they come back out again and they're racing again. And uh, that has been, you know, there have been many, many examples of that throughout the years. This year, the Tour de France is passing by Mont Ventoux. Is there any uh, landmark stage for you? Um, I think, well, the, the landmark stage for me this year would have to be Alpe d'Huez. It goes up Alpe d'Huez twice um, for the first time ever, and it'll be interesting to see how, how that goes. I think there are some issues with the descent um, coming down off it, and um, I'm, hopefully it'll, it'll all go safely. But I think it's something very special, and I think the, the public that will be there will have a, a wonderful occasion. It's always full up to us, and certainly this time now with two ascents of it, it's going to be incredible. It has been eight years now, you have been uh, UCI's president. Did you witness big changes in this period? Oh, I think I have. Uh, it's, certainly cycling has changed and is constantly changing in actual fact. I think the teams themselves, the professionalism of the teams, the backup administration and the backup support that riders have now is much better than it was uh, years ago. I think the fight against doping is obviously much stronger now than it was when I, when I took over as president. We see a change in the peloton, a change in the culture of doping in the sport um, and that is something which is very important and something which I have worked very hard for and something which I hope will continue in the years to come. Where do you see cycling going in the next 10 years, for instance? There are a lot of new talents, a new wave of talents. I see cycling becoming more and more international, more and more global. I mean, the UCI and I in particular have been working very hard to globalize the sport and to bring it into new territories, into new countries um, over the past eight years. And um, I see that continuing. I see the interest in cycling growing dramatically and I see that we will get new champions from new countries outside of the traditional Western European countries in the years to come. 2012 was a tremendous year for cycling with the Tour de France and the Olympics. Uh, how do you explain this surge of popularity for cycling? This is something which has been happening for some years now and we've witnessed it um, as we've seen the sport globalise, as we've seen the sport become more popular in more countries. Um, we see more and more people taking up cycling and more and more people having an interest in the sport of cycling and, and it is correct, 2012 was an incredible year. The Olympic Games, 1.5 million people on the roadside for the Olympic Games road race, biggest crowd ever in the history of any Olympic Games event. We are ent entering a new Olympic cycle. Do you think that in Rio uh, we are going to see the effects of long-term uh, measures taken by UCI? I think we will. I think we'll see the, the peloton in Rio, albeit that it's a restricted peloton, the 145, 150 riders, will probably be more international than it was in, in London and in, in Beijing before that. Um, I think we have, you know, the, the other aspects of cycling, the other disciplines, the track and, and, and the BMX will be, the BMX will be very big in, in Rio because it's a sport and in South America is very, very popular. And um, there's, um, you know, the, 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 all the four Olympic disciplines, I think, will, will do very well in, in Rio and we're looking forward to them. And, and they will again promote Rio just as much as they promote the sport of cycling. Thank you very much.